Oh, it's just me. All right. That looks pretty good, right? Okay. All right, you're rolling. All right, guys. Um, just to remind you, we've got this Wednesday. I'm going to give you a quiz. Uh, let's try to remember. I was trying to remember what I said last week. I didn't think I'd given the date yet. Maybe I said Wednesday. But it's definitely going to cover chapter one, and it's probably going to do a little bit out of chapter two. Any specific sections? Uh, I'll, let's do up to two, two. Okay, so no word problems yet on that quiz. Yeah. Next quiz will be the word problem quiz. Right. So the one after that will have word problems. This is only section two. Plural. Section 2-2? Two, two? Up to section 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so chapter 1, section 2-1, and section 2-2. Two, two. I don't know if I'm going to work on Wednesday. It's not considered late, right? Mm -hmm. right. Oh, you're already talking about homework? The homework is not considered late until after what day? Chapter test. The day of the first test. test. Yeah, and first what's test. the first test? March. February 28th. Oh, February 28th. Oh. Leap year. you got lots of time. Yes, you got some. <laughs> but be careful. You have lots of time. To get the homework. Until it's gone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. lost the homework. Yeah. So you got a lot of things to fill your time. So don't forget about that. All right, yes. I need some help on uh, 2.4, um, 30 number 30, 2 number 30. 2 4. 30. Number 30? Number 30, number 33. with inequalities versus equations. Again. Yeah, whenever you divide or multiply by a negative, you've got to flip that inequality. And we saw why last time. Why? Because it has to. I love that explanation. It just does. It's the way the world works. Um, so you can do anything you can do with an equation. So what would I really kind of maybe want to do there to make this easier to look at? Yeah. You would want to multiply. This is uh, page... Where am I at? 138. <coughs> so what do you need before you can kill those fractions? You want to distribute the one third, don't you? You could, but you don't have to. Yeah, what's the LCD going to be? 12. So if I multiply everything by 12, <coughs> both sides, and of course the zero just eats the 12 up. Right. Right? How are we doing? I could do that because there's two sides. So don't get overly optimistic about killing all fractions you see everywhere in the world. You can't. There's got to be two sides to balance out what you're doing. Right? Okay. So here, what happens here? Three T cancels and make it three. Three, so I get three T. Mm -hmm. Here? Four. Minus four in front of this stuff. Uh -huh. And then zero times zero. 12 still zero. is still zero. So let me get this straight. After you find a common denominator, the fractions disappear because the bottom number is just. Oh, okay. Yeah, the just LCD is the thing that has every denominator in it. That's why all the denominators cancel. They over cancel, they leave stuff, but you don't care. All I want is the bottoms to go the hell away. Okay. Right? Poof, go. And now, of course, now it looks a lot better. Yeah. What do you do now? Just distribute the four. Distribute, get your like terms together, blah, blah, blah. 3t. Minus 8t minus 20. Yeah. 8t is less than 0. Negative 5t. And then you subtract 20. All right, subtract 20. So now, some of you guys right there might have added 5t because you want to keep it positive. Uh -huh. That's cool, too. You get to the same place. So here I get... You get 5t. You get t is greater... If yeah, because what's the next step? You divide. Divide, divide by a negative. 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 Of course, I've got to flip the sign. So it'd be t is greater than 4. 
And then we can uh, graph that bud boy, inner rotation him. I like verbing nouns. That's what I was going to ask you. Did you want us to grab, use it, do a number line after we find the answer? Oh, yeah. So okay. now you can do a little number line. You could be as, uh, that's fine if you just do that. And the error Greater than, so what symbol should go on there? Um, it should be, it should be a parenthesis. A parenthesis. Right. Opening that way because I want to shade. Yeah. yeah. Line goes uh, to the right. right. The inequality is pointing me in the direction I want to shade. Because, of course, all these numbers are bigger than 4. Okay. Now, what about interval notation coming off of there? Yeah. Um, um, so yeah, 4, 4, and infinity. Yeah, exactly. There's no bound. There's no end point here, so it goes forever. So really, the way to read that is really forever. Start at 4 and go forever. Now, a real quick word before I forget, because I graded a lot of homework over the weekend, uh, which was... For me, but, that's me. Um, but I noticed something disturbing that I've seen more and more of. Um, markers committing suicide. Uh, I see stuff like this. Now, obviously, what would you do there? Now, I see this, though. Now, what did that person do? You only do that to both sides of something, of course, right? And you want to move something to the other side. These are already together. Just so put them together. One side. So a few people were doing that everywhere. And it just doesn't really get at the idea of why you do that. You only do that when you want to move something from one side. These are already all together. So of course, those are 16 minus 8. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I never do it even if I am dreaming. Even if you're dreaming? Yes, I do right. this. <laughs> Don't even do it in your dreams. I don't catch that. I'm like Freddy Krueger Matthews. I'm watching. Can I use this 42, please? Oh, yeah. That looks freaky. Let's see. 42. All right, it's got a few weird things going on with it. First off, the decibel. Secondly, it's got three sides. It's got a left side, a right side, and an inside, right? Well, it's the same idea as always. Whatever you do on one side, you do, do all the other sides. So first thing I could do is is, is what? Sort of like what we Yeah. So just like fractions, decimals are just over 10 or over 100. They're fractions. So I should be able to get rid of them. So what would I multiply both sides by? 10. 10. By 10. By 10. By 10. And of course, now all the decimals just move over. Right? So let's go 1. 4A plus 1 plus 1. Yeah, 3. Sweet. Still really amazes me how you multiply a decimal, you get a whole number. Well, you multiply a fraction, you get a whole number. <laughs> and just realize decimals are fractions. We just have a different way to write them because they're fractions based on the same number that our number system is based on. That's why we have a different way to write them. Now, of course, what do I do? Oh, yeah, minus one. Minus one. Yeah. So don't let anything else distract you. you. You know you want to get the A by itself, so your whole focus is on why is that not by itself. I don't care what these guys are, how many of them there are, I don't care about them. I know i got to subtract one. Whatever I do to one side, I do to all the other sides. Okay, so you do it to both sides, not just You have to. Okay. Exactly. Subtract three, subtract one three times. Zero. Now, what I see a lot sometimes is somebody will go, oh, that side's totally gone now. Yay. Not just because what is 1 minus 1? Zero. It's zero. a valid number. It's got to be there. Yeah, zero's still yeah. there. Zero. It's a four number a. line. You need that. Let's equal to 4A. Four four a. Let's two. equal to two. 2. And, of course, the last step. You divide 2 over divide 0 by four. and 4. Mm -hmm. and yeah. two. Divide so this by 4. So by everything by 4. Yeah. So you get negative 4. Or is it, no, it's still 0. Zero. zero. Yeah, zero, zero eats that up for lunch. A. a. And you get one half. One half. Yeah, one half. Cool. Yeah. 
Then you can graft that bad boy. Yeah. Animal notation it. Right. So the graph would be, let's see, I want to go 0, 1, and where's 1 half? Right in the middle. What symbol goes on both the 0 and the 1 half? Brackets. Brackets. Included. Included, exactly. I want to include it, so I want to use that symbol, the bracket. Mm -hmm. From 0 up to 1 half, and then in the middle. Right, that should not be, you know, terribly exciting, which is fine. It's not always exciting. But it should be relatively easy. And then real quick, how do you do interval notation? Thank you. you just do it straight off of here, right? So bracket from up to one half. Okay. So I'm sorry, who did I? Yeah. Oh, here? Did I divide by a negative number? No. Should I multiply by a negative number? No. Because again, uh, 4 is less than 8, right? Divide by 2. Which one's 2 is still less than 4. It's still the same way, isn't it? Now, if I take 4 less than 8, but divide by negative 2, what's 4 divided by negative 2? Is negative, negative 2. What's 8 divided by negative 2? Negative 4. Which one of those is bigger? Negative 2 is bigger. What did the sign do? It's reversed. So why do you switch the sign when you divide and multiply by negative? Because it has to be flipped. I mean, I love that answer. There's nothing else I can say. It has to be flipped. Just the law. It's just the law of math. When you it divide multiply by negative, it changes the side of the inequality the thing was on. It changes around from zero. If two is over here, negative two is over there. It changes. Follow the leader on those. Okay. Yes, sir. 59, page 141. 59 and all, we didn't understand. Oh, yeah. Yeah, these are a little freaky, I understand. Everything's hard. So it said solve this by inspection, which is a very strange uh, instruction to get in that class. But think about this. What is x squared to represent? I mean, what kind of number is that going to be? No matter what you make x, if you square it, it's got to be... 